हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल हेलो एंड वेलकम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद शौकत अंसारी इज बैक विद एन इलेस्ट्रियस लेसन ऑन द यूसेज ऑफ डब्ल्यू ओ यू एन टी I mean on the functions of W O U L D O T and for your information this is my fifth lecture in the series of uses of modal verbs and you are watching your own channel learn english language skills with sokat ansari and i must reiterate here that this channel is gaining fast traction among learners and lovers of english language and certainly this is an achievement for me for my initiatives for my true efforts and all together this vindicates the marching success of my efforts so thanks a lot to all of you for having affection with this channel for deriving maximum benefits from this channel let's move to the uses of w o u l d o t i mean the functions of w o u l d o t o t is certainly a crazy a magical an interesting word in english in terms of its uses in written english and in a spoken english and once you learn how to use and where to use would in sentences really it will amplify your your capability in a spoken english in communication skills now come to would and let's begin with rule number 1 would is used in sentences to depict polite request by using would at the outset of the sentence by using would you in the beginning of sentences and in written english you have to use question mark instead of full stop for example would you please help me in overcoming my bad situations would you please help me in overcoming my bad situations my dear good students for making polite request you can use would you could you may you can you okay even shall you like this you can use but would you is being discussed here So rule number one, would is used to depict polite request by using would at the outset of the sentence in the beginning of sentence. For example, would you please help me in overcoming my bad situation? Now come to rule number two. The rule number two posits the fact that. would is employed in sentences to spell out very very polite request anticipating positive response and here you frame sentences by using would you mind plus verb four would you mind plus verb four for example 
Would you mind repeating that? Would you mind repeating that? Next example, would you mind coming with me to the doctor? It means someone is making a polite request with you and he anticipates positive result. He anticipates positive response. He anticipates positive reply, positive action, constructive action. So, would you, okay, would you please, no, would you mind, would you mind plus verb four. So, rule number two says that would you, would you, uh, would is used to spell out very polite request anticipating positive response by using would you mind plus verb four plus gerund plus ing form of verb and example would you mind repeating that here would you mind repeating repeating that means in other way you can say can you please repeat that Next example, would you mind coming with me to the doctor? Would you mind coming with me to the doctor? Now rule number three, my dear good learners, I, I, I trust that you follow me. Would is employed in sentences for making polite requests by using I would plus verb one. I would plus base form of verb and I must tell you that with all modal verbs only and only verb 1 is used okay so I would plus verb 1 like I would plus verb 1 like so after using like would like you can make polite request okay so would is used to make polite request by using I would like in the beginning of sentences. Example, example, I would like to ask a question. Example, I would like to ask a question. It means in another way, a polite way to say I want to ask a question. I want to ask a question. So, so another way you can say I want to ask a question behind. But here you are learning how to use and where to use would. Okay. So rule number three says that would is used to make request to place polite request by using I would like. I would like. Okay. So example I would like to ask a question. Next example I would like to have some water another example i would like some salad please i would like some salad please okay so after i would plus like no now rule number four would is used to extend an offer by using would in the beginning of sentence. Rule number four. You, would is used to extend an offer by using would in the beginning of sentences. And here, a difference I must clarify when you speak, you can pronounce W-O-U-L-D as would. And also in a spoken English, when you utter would, while forming sentences, and you are using would in the beginning, you can pronounce this word as would. J, would, would you please. So would you please, okay, would you please, okay. So remember, in a spoken English, W-O-U-L-D can also be pronounced as uch. 
So rule number four says that when you extend offer, you can use W O U L D in the beginning of sentences. Okay, by using would you, would you. Examples: Would you like tea? Next example: Would would you like to listen to music? So, would you like tea? It's okay. Would you like tea in a spoken English, in a studying English? Okay. Would you like to listen to music? Okay. Now, rule number five: Would is employed in sentences to specify preference. To specify choice, to specify your selection, by using the combination of would rather plus verb one plus than t h a n, would rather plus verb one plus than t h a n than. Example, and this is a golden rule. I must say, example, I would rather go to the park. Then stay home. So the speaker gives here preference that he wishes to go park instead of staying home. The example: I would rather go to the park than stay home. Another example, my dear good students, my dear good learners. Another example: He would rather wait for me than leave for home. He would rather wait for me than leave for home. So his preference is, his choice is, his selection is, no, waiting for me. Okay. Another example. I would rather have coffee than tea in the afternoon. T H E, you can pronounce this T H E as the most of times. When after the T H E, there is consonant later, and here there you are using T H E. You must pronounce T H E as the. But when there is a vowel later and before that, if there is the, the, you have to pronounce that the as the, the afternoon, the apron. Got my point? The ox, the USA. Okay, but the pen, the book. The laptop. Okay, so the the last example I cited. I would rather have coffee. I would rather have coffee than tea in the afternoon. Now next rule. Would is used for expressing want. Expressing necessity, expressing choice by using like. For example, I would like an orange, please. I would like an orange, please. Suppose guess here in one place there are oranges, then there are uh, mangoes, then there are apples. Okay. And the speaker says that I would like, I would like an orange, please. So his choice is to eat orange only. So when there is a talk about want, about necessity, about choice, you can use I would like. I would like an orange, please. I would like to drink. Some water, please. Okay. Now, next rule. The rule is that when you talk about past action, when you talk about past action, 
you can use would dia for example he would dance well when he was young you are talking about his past action when he was young he used to dance so here here he would dance well it means in another way you can say he used to dance well he would dance well in other way you can say in other fashion you can say he used to dance well but here he would dance well when he was young so you are talking about his past hand next example my dear good learners my dear good students next example she would read maximum time in her college days she would read maximum times in her college days here again past action when she was in college she used to read too much she used to study hard but now she is a research scholar maybe she is in university maybe or maybe now she is working somewhere but in comparison no when she was in college when she was in her college life she used to study hard she used to read maximum time so you are talking about past last but not least would is also used in sentences to display to demonstrate to manifest intention intention for doing something a plan to do something okay for example he said he would clean the car he is he has a planning to clean the car he said he would clean the car she said she would clean the kitchen okay my dear good learners i hope you enjoyed the lesson and for your information my next lesson will be on the functions of on the uses of usage uses of s h o u l d should o u g s t ought and m u s t must and i urge to all of you that you stay connected with this channel i mean with me and uh, thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for being with me take care stay blessed bye bye see you but at the same time i must repeat this fact that make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and also give this channel a propagation a promotion a circulation among your friends among other learners among other lovers of english and also ask them to subscribe to the channel See you thank you